Are you currently motivated? It may seem like a funny thing to ask, but there are people who are often performing very poorly at work and at home. Motivation is what drives you as a person towards your goals. Do you have any goals? What do you want from life? You may not intentionally be choosing not to be motivated. Some habits can make you lose your motivation entirely. In this video, I'm going to share with you 9 habits that are destroying your motivation. 1. Worrying about past failures. Absolutely. No one likes to fail. It is understandable if a time you failed brings you a strong memory. It is, however, not okay to worry about it. A failure is simply an event. It isn't you. If you continue to see a time you failed as your incompetence, you may never find the courage to do something else. Our failure does not define us or determine whether or not we will succeed next time. If we never let go of it, we exchange our motivation for endless regret. How do you stay motivated after failure then? By reminding yourself that so many great people before you have failed at different points in their lives and yet succeeded. Take a deep breath. You are a champion. 2. Failing to set your goals An excellent way to fail is to have no plans. When you have no plans, you also have no goals. You have nothing you are trying to achieve. And because of this, not much in life matters. When you have nothing to lose, you can seldom have the motivation to push for anything. Doing drugs can sometimes put you in this category. It can make you feel like nothing actually matters and draw you into its bliss of horror. Motivation comes from having a clear goal and purpose. It is enough to decide to do something. You need to figure out why. Why do you want to become a Senate leader? Why do you want to work in the UN? Why do you want to go to Harvard? Understanding your purpose clearly can strengthen your motivation tremendously. Imagine choosing to work with a non-profit because you grew up in a slum. You never want children in America to experience what you have experienced again. Having a purpose and a goal can be the difference between a person without direction and a successful man. 3. Not being able to make up your mind about anything. Having a clear head when making decisions and sticking with them can really help you with motivation. When you are like the wind and cannot just decide, you can take too much time to act on every issue. Unfortunately, life really does not wait for anyone. If you take too long to decide on issues, you will miss out on a lot of opportunities. This will invariably lead to regrets, and regrets simply do not lead to motivation. According to a Nigerian playwright, Michael Bassey Johnson, you won't become what you want to be, else you become what you fear to be. Even if you are afraid, you have to move past it and act. Fortune indeed does favor the bold. You can never accomplish anything significant without a large amount of courage. When you can set your mind on a target and work towards it over some time, if not anything more, the sadness that you have spent so much time on it already can motivate you to keep going. Continuing a goal for the mere sake of finishing is not a great motivation. It is a motivation nonetheless. 4. Comparing yourself with others Are you happy with where you are with your career? Do you like your job? What are you doing currently? Does it drive you? You can always derive motivation from setting and accomplishing your goals no matter how small. Looking at others will likely not do you any good. You need to understand your path is unique to you. Some can make success for a short while and fade away into oblivion. Your story may be different. According to the American religious leader, Gordon B. Hinckley, you can't build a great building on a weak foundation. You must have a solid foundation if you're going to have a superstructure. Building takes time. If you desire to be president, you may spend more time building a reputation as a youth leader than making investments. Don't compare yourself with your peers that are riding flashy cars or living in luxurious houses. This can slowly rob you of your vision and motivation. Being too focused on the success of others necessarily means being less focused on your own success. Work hard and be grateful for small wins. You may not be the richest man in Ohio, but you can accomplish your targets daily. And you have a target and a lot of time to achieve it. Do not get so derailed from your dream that you no longer even remember what it was about and why you were pursuing it in the first place. Comparing yourself with others will do you no good. 5. Trying to make everything perfect If you set up a business and travel to another country for just a week and return, a policy may have been passed in your absence that will make your business unprofitable. If you stayed and worked on it, a fire may happen a week to your completing your insurance agreement or a severe injury to the client that will warrant you to pay a lot of money in damages. It is really not all gloom. The point is, there is really no way to determine what happens next. Life is full of a lot of risks. Continually trying to put everything in place or worrying about negative possibilities 
will wear you out and deplete your emotion. People who think this way are often very indecisive. You cannot control time or circumstances, but you can control your response and plan around the risks. Instead of putting plans in check to manage the risks and spend time worrying about them, you waste valuable time, quit worrying about everything and pull yourself together. People had managed enterprises before you were born and they did just fine. Why not you? Do you believe you can succeed? 6. Saying yes to everyone. Do you ever feel overwhelmed by so many responsibilities? It is probably because you are carrying on a lot of things at once. Do not feel bad when you say no to people. Do you want to be everyone's hero? Newsflash, you can't save everyone. Carrying on too many deliverables simultaneously in a bid to satisfy others will leave you with poor results. It is advisable to see each day as a new opportunity to do some good. You don't have to do all the good in one day. When you understand this, you will stop feeling bad when you cannot do your body a favor because you are genuinely swamped with work. If you say yes to everything, you will hardly get anything done. 7. Multitasking Humans are not created with the ability to pay full attention to two things at once. What this can mean is that we shouldn't text while driving or try to type a work email while chatting on WhatsApp or Facebook. It never ends well. You may come up with a whole lot of typos and wonder if you were the one that wrote the email in the first place. Trying to do so many tasks at once can slow progress and deplete your motivation. The more you carry on at the same time, the more likely you are to make mistakes. If you are not careful, you may abandon your goals entirely. 8. Focusing on your weaknesses We all have weaknesses. Should we be bound by them? Many of the times, others may not even know of our weaknesses until we show them. You need to acknowledge that you have weaknesses and apply yourself to becoming a better version of yourself. Focusing on your shortcomings also means not focusing on your strengths. Remember that the human mind cannot pay attention to many things at the same time. Choose who you want to be and let go of who people might think you are. 9. Procrastinating all the time This is literally the worst thing that can happen to your dream. There is always another tomorrow, and the next, another, and another, until you cannot even remember why tomorrow was so important anymore. Your motivation is really only as strong as the execution of your goals. The more targets you meet, the higher your motivation to continue. Aim to meet daily targets. That way, you are working on your goals every day. Quit procrastinating. Just do it. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.